One of the most widely used scales in patients with impaired consciousness is the GCS scale or Glasgow Coma Scale. GCS is preferred in neurological assessment over the four scale, as it's easier to understand and learn. So what does it mean by, patient scoring 15 out of 15 on the GCS scale? Or 5 out of 15? What exactly is this GCS scale? Let's dive in. The Glasgow Coma Scale or GCS is used to objectively describe the extent of impaired consciousness in all types of acute medical and trauma patients. The scale assesses patients according to three aspects of responsiveness, eye-opening, motor, and verbal responses. Reporting each of these separately provides a clear, communicable picture of a patient. It's a kind of severity index or picture of the neurological status of a patient. So, how is GCS assessed and reported? The GCS assessment aid has four steps to the assessment process, check, observe, stimulate, rate. Check for the factors interfering with communication and the ability to respond. Observe eye-opening, content of speech and movement. Stimulate the patient by using verbal commands or by applying pressure on fingertips, trapezius, or supraorbital notch. And lastly, rate or assign according to the highest response observed. Note that the assessor should evaluate each of the subscales as listed in the assessment aid. Each subscale has several components. Based on the level of consciousness, a score is assigned. A higher score indicates a greater level of consciousness. First subscale to ASSES is I response. I response is graded from 4 to 1. If there is spontaneous eye opening with positive corneal reflex, it scores 4 out of 4. If eye opening presents on sound or verbal command it will be a score of 3. When eye opening presents only on pressure or pain stimulus, it's 2. And if there is complete absence of eye opening it will be 1. So it's often documented, by capital letter E. When it scores 3, it's written as E3. The second component in the GCS scale is the verbal response of the patient. If a patient is oriented to person, place and time it's score 5. If confused, often in cases of short-term dementia and altered mental status it will be a score of 4. If inappropriate words and failure to make a connection between words to form sentences and communicate it will be a 3. If no words and only sounds which are incomprehensible it's a score of 2. If there is no verbal response at all, it's a score of 1. It's assigned by letter V and is graded out of 5. If there is no verbal response, the score is documented like V1. Similarly, the last component of this scale, motor response is graded out of 6. The score 6 is when the patient follows the command. 5 if there is movement due to localized pain. For when the movement is due to withdrawals or withdrawal from pain. Score of 3 is assigned to abnormal flexion and if there is abnormal extension, it will score 2. If there is no motor response, it will be a score of 1. It's documented with the letter M. That's it. So, if a 54-year-old patient is brought into the ER, who has an impaired level of consciousness, showing no eye response, even in deep pain and not reacting to any verbal command or deep pain stimulus, what will GCS be? Yes, it's 3 out of 15. And documented like E1V1M1. If the patient is intubated and is on ventilator support, the verbal response is documented as capital letter V with a small t. Like VT. So if someone writes, GCS is E4V5M6, it's mean patient is having perfectly normal GCS and there is no impaired level of consciousness. Thank you, subscribe to learn basics of various scales and calculators used in clinical practice and do not forget to hit the notification bell.